I'd like to welcome nutritionist and author Lola Berry back to Simply Wellbeing. Today, Lola is going to talk to us about folk health remedies. How are you, Lola? I am good, thanks, guys. Real good. I love this topic because it's like we've got all these amazing little remedies right at our fingertips, you know, like, you know, who would have thought that, you know, just by putting chilies in your socks might keep you warm at winter and it doesn't cost much to buy chilies, you know. So I like that all these folk remedies, Yes, they're remedies, so they're not a hundred percent. Like I'm not, don't quote me on them. But there's no scientific. It's not hurt. Yeah, there's no scientific backing on them, but you know what? It's not going to hurt. They're a little bit funny, and it's a fun way to get more whole foods into your diet. We'd lo- we'd love to hear them. So, what can you tell us? So yeah, you've got your chilies in the winter, so you can chop them up really finely. And you can pop them in your socks in the winter. Okay. And Does that burn your skin on or anything? Does it burn? Yeah. It hasn't me. I did it in the middle of winter New York, and I put red and green chilies, and it didn't burn my feet. It was just a bit fudgy. Wow. It did not burn my feet at all. Mm-hmm. Um, another interesting one is honey for a libido enhancer. In fact, the word honey comes from the word honeymoon because back in ancient times, people would drink a fermented honey drink for the, on their wedding night and for the following two weeks. And it was meant to get you in the mood so that you conceive and have offspring. Wow. That one, that's, and the word honey literally comes from honeymoon. So there might be a little bit of something in that. Yeah. Um, an interesting one for worms. And again, I would not definitely not recommend doing this because this would burn. But an old naturopathic uni used to tell me that to get rid of worms, raw garlic up your butt. Wow. Worm. Yeah, but again, I wouldn't recommend that to all the listeners out there. <laughs> and you know what? Think about including garlic in your diet if you're trying to get rid of it. Yeah, right? well, I mean, I've, I've obviously, you would know, I've heard of that when you swallow it, but I haven't heard about it up your butt, so that's interesting. There you go. Well, yep. maybe that'll stop the bad breath. A cool one for a hangover is um, you cut a lemon in half and you rub it under your armpits after a big night out, and that's a really good hangover remedy. So oh. the theory is you put the lemon like as you would deodorant and you just, but do, and, and I say to drink it as well, but just don't drink it after you rub it under your armpit. Okay, so, so you do it before you go out or when you get home? When you get home, because the, the whole theory is that it by, bypasses your digestive system and you can get the detoxification benefits of the oh. lemon quicker. I'd like to see some yeah. drunk people rubbing lemon under their underarms. It's fascinating. Look, I haven't... I don't drink, so I haven't been able to trial that one myself. Otherwise, I generally would trial these things. Mm-hmm. An interesting one for hiccups, and we all know the one where you scull water or you hold your breath, but there was one that someone said on it, and this is on an American site, but you get a penny and you try it really hard to hold it between your toes, and yes. you just focus so hard on that one thing for a five-cent piece for us. Um, you can naturally get rid of the hiccups. That's meant to be a really good one for the hiccups. There are so many. There's another cool one where they say, you get a slither of onion, just as you cut a small slither off, and you pop it in the ear for an earache. I've done that, and it's been awesome. Wow, that's a good, I've that's a good one. Done that one, yeah. Well, because antibacterial, you know, antimicrobial, fantastic for in, you know, earaches and whatnot. Mm-hmm. There's so many different things that you can do, though. Like it's so fascinating. You know, you just said garlic breath. How would you counteract garlic breath? Well, chewing on raw parsley counteracts garlic breath. That's right. Yeah, so there are all little quirky things that you can do. I mean, there's weird ones like a shot of radish juice to get rid of a hangover because it's so, you know, it's quite pungent and quite high in sulfur, so it works working on the sulfation pathway in the liver. Another one is drinking tomato juice after a big night out because it's naturally quite high. Tomato juice has got quite a good amount of fructose in it. Mm. So, and I know we hear look at your fructose is a bad word, but what it does is it forces your liver to break down the fructose and kind of like doesn't let it freak out about the alcohol as much. That's meant to be the theory behind it. Again, I haven't tried that one. But yeah, there's so many different things that you can do. And you know what? This would just be the tip of the iceberg. That's right. I actually found one myself online when we decided to do this. And it was a callus cure. I don't know if you've heard this one, but you soak half a slice of stale bread in apple cider vinegar. And then you use adhesive tape to secure it to the affected part of your foot. And you yeah. wrap it in cl- plastic um, with a cotton sock and in the morning, apparently your corn or callus may be gone. Yeah, 100%. There's a lot of good foot ones. You know, people get um, warts or papillomas on their feet mm-hmm. meant to, um, in, when you go to bed, and even if you can tolerate during the day, get banana skins and the inside of the banana skin facing the, the wart or the papilloma, and it should get rid of it within a few days and it makes it dry out and drop off. Oh, wow. Well, that would Apparently. That would be less painful than dry ice, wouldn't it? A lot less painful than dry <laughs> ice. Um, another, like, 
another fascinating thing is, you know when you get your lettuce and you cut the bottom of your lettuce and, like, that white fat stuff comes out of it? Mm-hmm. So then normally icebergs and cod lettuce have the most of it. They say that's really good for sunspots. Oh. See what I mean? It's just a plethora of... Another really cool one is grated apple and making, like, a poultice and using that on bruises topically. Yeah. Even I've heard tofu used topically as a poultice. Wow. Actually, I, I found another one. Um, we, we, we had Harry, the dentist, on that we were speaking to earlier. And what you can do is, um, he didn't tell me this, by the way. I found this on the internet. But you get mustard and um, you put it on top of peanut butter and then you put it onto your tooth that's got the toothache and the peanut butter is meant to hold it down and the mustard is meant to block the pain. Oh, wow, because you know clove oil does that and cloves. You know, you can put a clove bud in an aching tooth. No, I didn't know that. Yeah, cloves. Cloves are known for getting rid of tooth aches. Really good. So, but I haven't heard the mustard thing. Mustard thing. I mean, you know, the good thing as well about acidic stuff like apple cider vinegar in your hair for dandruff, you know. There's so many things. We should, you know, we could write a, do a whole you know, book on this stuff. We could. <laughs> and it's just about going through our cupboards, isn't it, and finding all the old stuff that's already in there. Yeah, and even herbs like oregano and basil. You know, if you go on Natchitoche, they will often prescribe you those herbs in a liquid tincture format. You know what I mean? Like, mm. there's, you know, it's just about, like, turning into a little bit of a detective. But the cool thing is, just by eating whole foods, getting all these added benefits, sure, it's folk remedy, so it's not proven or anything like that. You know, don't hold me to it, but it's not going to do you any harm, is it? No, that's true. I've got another one also. If you put green tea on your skin um, half an hour before you go outside, it's meant to reduce your chances of getting burnt and sun damage as well. That would make good sense. And, you know, for sunburn, I've done this one myself, raw potato sliced really thin, super cooling, Mm. on sunburn works a treat. Okay. Well, you imagine someone's going to come to our house and we're going to have peanut butter in our mouth and I know. P- potato <laughs> all over <laughs> us. And <laughs> all for doing random weird folk remedies. I love it. And also tea tree oil on your glands. I don't know if you know that. My mum's been doing it to me since I was a little girl. And Whenever I've got a sore throat, you put the tea tree yeah. oil on your glands. And as long as you don't have sensitive skin, you might want to dilute it a little bit. Um, but I, I don't yeah. and it's never affected me. And I swear it gets rid of a sore throat. So good. And another one like that it just came to the top of my head and that I've actually done this a few times, you brew calendula tea bags and then you let them cool and then you put them on your eyes to get rid of puffy eyes. Mm, I need that. <laughs> I need that every morning. <laughs> yeah, why not? Does it get rid of the dark circles or just the puffiness? Puffiness. Dark circles are generally... Generally, a food allergy. Mm. Dark circles are a sign that you're eating something you're allergic to, or adrenal exhaustion, of course. But yep. yeah, there's a good chance that dark, yeah. specifically that that dark greyness, mm. is um, often when, when it's that more red. It's actually that can be tired. Yeah, I think I tick all those boxes. <laughs> I know, right? It's a bit, a bit of everything. I think we all need it. <laughs> is there? Have you got anything else for us? Or is that... Oh, my goodness. There's so many different things. <laughs> like, I, we could talk about this all night. But, I mean, that's probably my then probably my main ones. If there was one go-to thing that I would always have in my pantry, no matter what, it would be apple cider vinegar. Because, yes, I mm. said, you know, you can use it, you know, to get rid of dandruff. But, you, could, you know, it's really good to have an upset stomach, a little tiny shot of that if you can eat, like, a heavier meal because it's quite acidic in nature. But it's also alkalizing on the body. Mm. Um, I always have that on hand because I need a bit of sparkle to kind of, like, a salad. So... I know that's kind of one of those considered one of those cure all too. If you do any research on apple cider vinegar and the remedies that's linked to, like there's so much stuff that you can do with it. I mean, I've heard of people like poking their hands and it to make their skin better. Like there's so much amazing stuff. I, in my skin stuff I use on my face, sometimes I use one that's got a little bit of apple cider vinegar in it. So that'd be my like go to folk remedy that's always awesome. Well, I think there's some really great advice there and some things that people can maybe get into their cupboard so if they've got an emergency they absolutely um, yeah can use what's more, in their and home just, you know i never say to wikipedia and google it but it is fascinating it's worth it just have a little learn yeah i found some hilarious ones on the internet today but oh. um there for, for another, another time thank you so much for speaking to us today i know you need to get back to dinner uh if anyone Thanks wants to me. see more information about you where can they go uh, oh, well, I'm all over Insta. Love my little Insta. So that's just Yummo Lola Berry. Same for Twitter. And then Facebook page and website. And, 
Yeah, new book coming out 1st of March, which I'm really excited about, but I'm sure I'll chat to you before then. Yeah, I'm sure you will, and we're excited to see your new book. Thank you so much, Lola.